welcome back to my channel so as you can see there's already a stack of clothes here oh i just found another item with the sensor just by touching anyways so there's a stack here i already pulled out everything that was separate um not separate what am i talking about asia what are you talking about let's redo this i already pulled out everything that you guys have already seen in the past two videos because like i said i have a ton of um duplicates and stuff so i didn't really want to like sit here and having to show you guys these items again so i will put on the screen right here um the few items there wasn't much but the few items that were duplicates in part three that i pulled out for y'all um i'll just have them flashing or whatever so you guys could see but um yeah for the most part so all this stuff is you haven't seen it yet there are items that are multiple of like these items like i know i have a bunch of these and i have a bunch of these as well so but you haven't seen these yet so it's okay um and there might be some items that you've seen but like a different style different color yada 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 bada 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 let's get started okay so this is part three and this is the last part um i did not separate them very well in equal parts so this is probably going to be the longest video but hey you know what go grab your coffee go take photos go take measurements do some listings i don't know just play me in the background and we'll go through this together all right so i have this box over here this is stuff i've already photographed so i'm going to keep it separate just because um i do just need to inventory this stuff but i wanted to wait to show you guys before i inventory it so let's get started i probably said that like three times now but we're really gonna get started i promise we're really gonna get started all right first is pj salvage and this is a size of medium and it's just a uh it's a pajama top so pj salvage does pajamas and it's like stars and moons it's really soft but it's like um it has like a bunch of wash wear you know how like i don't know it's just it's I'm just going to add it as is, and I'm going to list it for a little bit cheaper, but it has, like, a wash wear, like, you know, like, when you wash black items, and it kind of looks fuzzy, but, like, you can't pick the fuzz off. Yeah, but it's also new with tags, so I don't know if that's just how it's supposed to be. It was supposed to be a two-piece set, but I only have the top, so she only get in the top. Next is this beautiful color, Vince Camuto, size small, and it's a... Ruffle front, blouse, it is um, polyester, but it looks like silk, but I like it, I like it. Then we have this little sweater number here. This is Nicole Miller, and it's a size small, yeah, small, and it's a pullover. It has like this ruffle detail here. It definitely looks a lot like lighter washed out on my screen but it's it's like a peachy color and then it's got this embroidered eye here um yeah i really like this one and there's nothing on the back bless you then we have chaser i haven't listed chaser in like in a long time so this is extra small and it's a tie-dye cropped hoodie and it like looks like distressed and everything but i know sometimes chaser like just does that because it's definitely all over like it looks pilly and but it's like i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it it's pilly looking but it's like all over so i know it's supposed to be like that um but i'm gonna double check i'm gonna find a stock photo to double check but yeah hmm. what's wrong baba he's trying to get out this chair next is coslin and it's this is a size medium but i have a bunch of these as you see like one right here i have another one but it's a striped pullover like knit top it's probably like tunic because it's very long you could probably wear this with some leggings and you know some boots or something layer it it'll look cute we have sanctuary and this is a size small and it's a tie-dye lightweight sweater top um yeah i like it so next we have um we have another one of these so i'm not gonna like reshow these i'm just gonna show you like whatever i have multiples of this is made well and this is a size large it is a tie-dye i think heart embroidered yeah heart embroidered uh pullover like sweatshirt 
and it's um did i say a large yes size large i also have another one right here i do think i have a couple more of these this one is a size extra small i have this in philanthropy in philanthropy size extra small it's like a distress uh long sleeve it has like all of the like this neck cut out over here and the color is all distressed it's really nice it's probably like a good like layering piece for summer i mean for winter i also have i think i showed you guys these in the last video i can't remember i did photograph these already so i'm just gonna reshow them but these are vince commuto size medium medium and they're just like a textured pant they're like they feel like velvet, but I know they're like like a brush, like I don't know how to explain it, like brush fabric. Either way, it, they're feel, they're really soft. They feel nice. Um, they're just like a pant. They have the elastic waistband, and then they're skinny, like so. A nice work pant. We have some pajama pants or lounge pants, whatever. This is Jessica Simpson, and these are size large. These are like really really soft. I like the big old pocket here. And then it does kind of semi cuff down here at the bottom. Um, yeah, I really like it. Is it drawstring? I think nope, no drawstring, but it has a wide waistband here. Here is another lounge pan, and these are BB Dakota. These are a size medium. There we go. And these are like kind of like a thermal pan because they're ribbed and they cuff down here at the bottom, but it's more of like a lounging pan with the drawstring waist. But I would not, if you guys are thrifting, I would not necessarily pay up for BB Dakota because that's also sold at um what should we call it? More right now. The the BB Dakota Steve Madden line. So I would pay up for that i mean unless it's a desirable piece and you know people are paying above retail for it i wouldn't do that here is vince commuto and this is size large and it's a houndstooth knit pencil skirt i really like this i've always liked that print but i've never owned that print but we'll find something eventually one day this is cozy zo medium and it just says love on it but it has like a little dog print so if you're a dog lover this would be cute this would be good for you a little lounge pajama top it, it could be a pajama top i think it is but it could be just a lounge top you could wear it out you could do whatever you want these days this is mark new york performance and it's a full zip sweater but it's like that uh, towel material. I think it's called French Terry, I believe. And it has the uh, pinstripe down the sleeve. I really like this. Okay, so that's everything in this box. I'm gonna put this stuff back and then we're gonna move on to this big stack over here. Let's move on. So we have this All In Favor. Um, I did show an All In Favor sweater, but this one is a different um, color. And it looks like it's a different style as well. So I'll, I'll, let me show you the tag, sorry. So all in favor, size large, and it's a pullover gray sweater with the drawstring bottom here. So you can cinch in the waist and give yourself like more definition. Um, also, so this is one of the items I showed last time. It just happens to be up here, so you know. I believe I also showed this item as well. Uh, so I'm not gonna show it again. Um, this is, okay, now that that's separated, I must have like put some stuff back on top. So this is a bound and it's a size large. It's just a basic white pullover top. It's like off-white maybe. I feel like it's an off-white, um, but it's real plain, real basic. This would be a good layering piece. If you, you know, you have, if it's like super cold and you need to wear a coat, you could just throw that underneath and you're good to go. This is, we have not looked at this. Let's open her up. I think this is a one-off item. I don't remember seeing another one of these. Okay, we see a big old neck. We love a big old turtleneck. This is BP. Size small, I believe. Yes, yeah, size small. And it's a knit turtleneck crop long sleeve sweater. This is really cute. I like this. 
I don't know if this is necessarily cropped or if it's just gonna fall right at your waist, but I have a feeling it's cropped because like, look how long these line, these arms are. But yeah, it's really cute. It's really soft and like, ooh, luxurious. I like that. That's really nice. Okay, um, these are Top Shop, Top Shop straight, and these are a size 30 waist, 32 length. So. They are some white distress or white raw hem jeans. I feel like they might be cropped. I don't know though, but they're just white. They do have like a little, oh, it's not a stain. That's my daughter's sand, but I feel like it's gonna stain it now because it's like pink sand. So we'll just need to put this away somewhere where it's out of her reach. Um, I believe I showed these as well. These are, um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and show it again because you know, I'd be forgetting. This is BDG Urban Fitter Urban Outfitters and it's a size medium. And they're just some cargo pants. Um, I guess like cargo type pants with the cinched in uh, bottom here. It's got the little drawstring adjuster. All right, and then we have this cute little thing. This is BOG Collective. Oh, Bohemian, Bohemian Original Gratitude Collective never heard of that brand before but this is what the tag looks like it's an extra large and it's like a swiss dot puff shoulder crops blouse i could tell push shoulder was a thing huh not anymore it's got these buttons here and they are real you can actually use them um but yeah and it's got like the smocked waistband here that'd be cute okay this is uh rdi and this is a size small and it's like a knit uh crochet pullover blouse with a kangaroo pocket not blouse jacket sweater whatever you want to call it it is hooded is lightweight um this reminds me of something i had for like my daughter when she was a little baby and had like the little ears on the hood it was really cute but yeah this is a basic plain top so we have another one of these this one is a size extra large my size oh yeah this is definitely a tunic this is a tunic, y'all. We have Treasure and Bond, extra large, and it's a it is houndstooth, houndstooth, but they're like really, really tiny to where it almost looks like a solid color. But it's a houndstooth uh, puff, puff, puff sleeve, dolman sleeve blouse. Like, look at that, look at that. This is real cute. It probably lays really nicely. But let me see if I can show y'all like close up so you can see. Yeah, so it's house tooth, but it's really, really, it's like micro, so you can barely really see it. Next is H. Halston. This is a size extra large. These are all my sizes today. Okay, extra large. And it is a V neck sweater, or it's a crew neck sweater with the back V. It's blue striped, it's a pullover, it's lightweight, and it's just a, like another good layering piece. We got a bunch of layering piece. So I have a couple of these. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the one. This is Aster, A S T R, the label. And this is size extra small. And it has like this big old collar here. This big old nice beautiful collar and like it's really wrinkled but just imagine you guys if this was like steamed out it'd be really nice this is like kind of sheer and what's the material also we have a sensor remover but i have the magnet for this it's 100 percent viscose yeah it's um this would be so like just imagine this steamed you guys imagine it's nice and steamed and no wrinkles really cute this would be so cute like under like a blazer that's cute we have another one of these this is a size small we have a sanctuary this is extra small and this is like a really lightweight blouse like it feels like silk probably isn't but it has like this ruffle detail here on the bottom or on the sleeve and it's like a really pretty pink cheetah print it's sheer pullover it's got the button front let's see what the fabric content is it's rayon 100 percent rayon like this would be 
just imagine this too steam this is so pretty y'all so pretty i love 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 this print this is bb dakota steve madden and this is a size small and it's this smocked neck okay hold up hold up hold up okay so it's the smocked neck blouse right here right and then it's the whole bottom is smocked it's like sheer on the sleeves it's got this nice cuff down here and then um but you could like wear off your shoulders i guess or on it and it's also like crossed it's like crossed right here you can't really tell but it's like a cross up here it's really nice i like this all of these material all these um items are like so like dainty like the past few items have been so like dainty and really lightweight and i like it so this is aster the label size large and this is <laughs> you're talking to me huh this is a pullover blouse it's kind of like like a balloon style so the sleeves are all nice and balloony but it's very lightweight this is like really i don't know when i look at this i think of like bohemian style plain but real cute still and it has the elastic waist right here it is lined then we have um this is one state let me fix this sleeve for y'all this is one state size medium and okay so just imagine use your imagination on this one so this is the neck right this is where you put your head like so and then you pull it up like so and then you got the sleeves and you know like this kind of and the shoulders are out but you know can't really hold it up but i mean i guess i could do this but that kind of looks weird so anyways it's like a cold a cold shoulder ribbed blouse um not blouse i literally keep calling everything a blouse today sweater asia sweater and did i say the size i don't know if i said the size but it's a cotton blend and acrylic it's really soft like super soft i love the way this feels i don't know about the style necessarily like with the cold shoulder as a sweater that never made sense to me but i know it's done a lot okay this is wave size small and i absolutely love this color so it's like okay hold up hold up so i believe okay these are the seams the shoulder seams yeah these are the shoulder seams okay so it goes like this so this is the front part it's like the ruching with the sheer sleeves but it's got like the glitter in it and then this will be the back with the um the button it goes up but it's still like it's just it's just a really cute blouse i like this i switched settings on the iphone because it just wasn't focusing for me fast enough there she goes Elia. okay say hi 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 friends hi. Ah. Elia. Okay, say bye bye, friends. Uh -huh. Mommy, sit down. You want to be on my stock photo? Say. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, you're so sweet. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. 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 Okay, can you go play with your brother? Okay, so we have another um, of one of these tops right here. And this one is a size small as well. Um, so let's see how much these retail for. This retail for $79. This is really pretty. I really do like this. If I happen to see one in like a large, I'll squeeze into it, but I prefer extra large. But you know, it's fine. This is really cute. I thought about keeping this for myself. So this is Wave 98. It's extra large. And it's like a, um, it's just a rib net button front cardigan, but it's skinny and like, the bottom cuff a little flares like just ever so slightly and it just reminds me of like y2k y2k style you know how people wear these with like 
high-waisted jeans but like just a bra underneath or maybe those girls wear nothing but i gotta wear a bra under but yeah like, that'd be real cute real cute so i might try that one on i don't know if i'm gonna keep it but i'll try it on then we have halogen so halogen size small and this is a ribbed v-neck pullover sweater dress maybe it's really long i'm feeling like this is a dress especially yeah this is a small this is a dress then um i love this color it's like the dark the dark green what is this hunter green right the dark green is called hunter green i don't know if that's the right color or maybe emerald but it's cute now this this i am a little confused by but let me show you so the brand is supplies and it's a size extra large supplies extra large i mean if it's not supposed to be like that i could keep this because i really do like this but this kind of okay one thought at a time one thought at a time so the first thought i have is there's like a ton of like peeling all over this hat this hood but it's like i don't know it's all over and then the peeling is also on the pocket so i have a feeling it's supposed to be like that like there's no peeling everywhere else and i could like just sit and like try to like pick up the pilling but i have a feeling it's supposed to be like that right so that's the first thought the second thought here is this really reminds me of like free people the way it lays the way it fits like just look at that it's a like slouchy hoodie with the dolman sleeves it's super nice i love absolutely love okay i decided i'm gonna keep this thanks for talking with me you guys and helping me through that decision we're gonna keep that one all right, then we have um, a firm. This is a medium slash large. It's a open front cardigan. It's really long, super long with like the dolman sleeves. And then I like when cardigans do this, like they're really oversized, but then they cuff at the wrist. Shh, And then this is acrylic nylon and spandex. Yeah, it definitely has like, it's like a rubber band, y'all. It's got a ton of stretch. Okay, now we have, we're on to the next thing, which is by design. I've never seen this brand before. It's extra small, but it's like this push shoulder uh, v-neck. Yeah, surplus neck, bodysuit. But like, let me show you a close-up. It's got all of these like Swiss dots on it and the sleeve is nice and sheer. I'm starting to notice a trend, like a lot of these blouses with the push shoulders, the sleeves are like, sheer so that's probably like a past trend obviously because like this is old stuff they that's why they're getting rid of it but you know it's cute this is another one of those nice blouses that would look so nice once they're steam so you have a small we have a small and then another small this is so soft okay so this is super soft this is a 3x treasure and bond and so it's a like, okay. So it's a button front or it's like a snap button front with the pockets here. And it's just, um, it's kind of like a, um, like a shacket kind of, but it's more like a relaxed fit. It does have the high low hem here. This is actually really cute, you guys. Um, I might try this on. I don't wear a 3X by like no means, but I feel like it'll look really cute, like oversized. Um, so I'm gonna try it on and see like how it looks on me, but I have a feeling it might be a little too big and we'll get that lifted. We have another Mark New York, um, ow, another Mark New York uh, jacket. Did you guys see that? She just threw her phone at me. And it's like a the towel material again, so terry cloth, I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me down below, but I think it's terry cloth. And this one is gray, full zip, size medium. Okay, this is a nice, pretty, um, like, tie-dye. I love, like, the dark tie-dye on it. It's cropped. It's hooded. It's really nice. I love this so much. It's definitely oversized. Um, this is a bound extra, extra small. But, yeah, this is really, really nice. I love this. I might try to see if they have this in my color. My color. This is my color. My size. Um, it retailed for $29.97. Um, so next is Bo, Bo Bay, Bo Bay, I don't know, Bo Boo, extra small. This is a really soft hoodie or cardigan as well. It's like that olive color and it's kind of like that waffle, like waffle knit, but 
I don't know, maybe I guess it is waffle knit, but yeah, it's just a open front cardigan, waterfall front. That's what it's called, right? When it's like, like bunches up in the front. Okay, so this Lulu sweater, it's a color block sweater and it's kind of like, I don't really know how to describe this, but I'm just gonna call it popcorn type material, popcorn type sweater. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It's so soft. It probably is like an overfit, like slouchy type look, but I really love it. Okay, so I have two of these hoodies. The brand is, um, gotta get in there. It's L-I-R-X. Is that what this says? L J R A L I R. Y'all, I don't know what the brand is. I'm just gonna show y'all. Um, if I figure it out, I will put it on the screen for y'all. I think that's just L I R X or A L I R A. I don't know, but it's got. Um, I'm guessing L J R A is probably what it was, what it is. But yeah, it's got this little graphic here. It's hooded. It's like that light brown color. And it's got this graphic on the back. I'm uh, not sure at all what this is. So I have no idea like what brand that is, what that means. If that's like they're just their logo. But um, yeah. And it is like really soft on the inside. It's got that like fleece material on the inside. So here's another one. And it says that it's the con shell hooded fleece and mushroom. I really do like this color. It just reminds me of like coffee. So I'm gonna look this up. Maybe I could put some details on the screen for y'all so y'all can get an idea what that is. Um, I did show y'all the all in favor sweater already. That was the very first or a couple of first items I showed. So we got a couple more of those. So we have a medium, another medium, and then another medium. I believe they're all mediums. Um, that's all I see for now. But if I see any more, you know, I'll put it up on the screen. This is Jessica Simpson, size large. They're the same pants as before, like the same style, but they're a different print this time. These ones look like they have a bunch of wash wear on them as well, like just a little bit fuzzy, like they've been washed, but they probably was just dragged across the store if I'm being honest. This is open edit, extra, extra small. And these are some high rise, like, I guess it's, Flare, yeah, I guess they would be flare because these are extra, extra small. So these are probably flare with the, like the front split. These are really high rise. Like, who is this tall? Um, anyways, yeah. So this is like the print. I don't really know how to describe it. Like, it looks like a like desert animal type print. Um, there's no pockets or anything on them. They're just a nice plain high rise pants, and these retailed for sixty nine. All right, we have BB Dakota. Steve Madden size small and this is a what is this just pullover sweater yeah it's just a pullover sweater tunic it might be a sweater dress um I'll have to like measure it but if this is a small it probably is a dress um I mean you can always wear it with like leggings you know if you feel like you're uncomfortable or it's too short so I got a couple of these one of them though look like they just was using it to like pack up this palette and dragging it everywhere so I'm gonna mark that one as damaged this one is a little fuzzy like a little bit more fuzzy than it should be but not as fuzzy as that last one I'm gonna be doing a separate video of like damages I guess to expect in palettes obviously I don't know every single damage I don't have an I don't have an example of every single damage that's possible with palettes but I'm going to show my damages so that's going to be in another video if you guys want to see that uh so this is top shot it's a us four and six and this is a really oversized animal print large long cardigan it's like I'm pretty sure this probably comes to like midi leaf like way past your knees it's like really long you guys like if this is a four or six yeah definitely super long um i don't even know what else to say about this it's just that's a big one and then i have another one right here this one is a four six as well these like i feel like i don't honestly i don't know why people buy these type of cardigans because i feel like they're really hard to maintain unless you don't like this one is like got a bunch anyways unless you like plan on just wearing it a few times and then putting it away 
um i feel like once you wash it it's like done for unless you follow the directions to like a tee oh i already showed this to you guys so this is that made well made well sweater this one's an extra large we have buffalo david bitten size medium the inside is like a fleecy material but this is a oh i did not see that at first so it's got these little shoulder pads here it is a long sleeve uh pullover it's really wow i've never seen anything like this i can't wait to see the stock photo on this it's kind of cute it's kind of cute it's different but cute so this is really really soft but i have a feeling this is like matted um i don't think it's supposed to look like this but this is mark new york size small and it's a cardigan so it's a like a sherpa cardigan but this inside feels like a comforter it probably keeps you really long uh really warm i think you wear it like that i do think um i'm just gonna list as is but i feel like this is matted and it probably should be more fluffy than what it looks like but it makes sense because who knows how long this palette was like packed or how long this was necessarily packed up and stuff but i'm gonna sell this one just as is because i don't want to deal with it we're getting there y'all we're no longer with this big old pile but we still got a lot to go so this is stitch drop and this is a size extra large stitch drop extra large and this is a sweater dress it's got like these Okay, what's going on? Oh, it's got like the side cut out here, like for the neck and the shoulder, so your shoulder would be right here, but it's not all done on this side. It's just a sweater dress. This has got a, this is like, this one's kind of fuzzy, kind of fuzzy. So, um, it's got a pool on it too. I might, I might just donate that one, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I might just donate that one. <laughs> we have Sanctuary size large and this one is a button front v-neck animal print cardigan it's kind of lightweight but still like has some like weight to it um yeah i don't really know what else to say about it you guys i'm just like it's a long video <laughs> a long, long video i did not time this right okay Threads for thoughts size medium and this is the tag so this is a sweater right here. Like the front is really plain. Um, it kind of looks like a thermal, but it's got all of this like cutout detail here on the back. This is definitely more like a fitted sweater um, because this is a medium, right? So it's more like a, a knit blouse than I guess I would say a sweater. Okay, now we have Project Social Tee. This is an extra, or this is a large. And it's just a plain long sleeve uh, pullover top. It's kind of like, it kind of looks like the Henley top, you know, with like that, but isn't Henley like more like of um like a waffle knit texture or is it just Henley is like a style? I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. Like you use this as a layering piece. I actually really like that. It's plain, basic, $68. That's a lot of money for a plain top, a plain t-shirt at that. This is Topshop. This this has a sensor um dang it and these sensors um i have a sensor remover but it's not strong enough for these type of sensors so it's able to get that first sensor that you guys saw that y'all saw at the beginning of the video and then i have another type of sensor that i've already moved as well but when it comes to these ones i gotta get a stronger one it doesn't work it's too small so this is top shop size large it's like this periwinkle color this is so cute I don't know if this is a dress or if this is like an extra oversized. It has to be a hoodie because, or a sweater because look how long the arms are. I feel like this is like a really like oversized, like free people type item and it like bunches up or whatever. It's a US 12. So yeah, this is really like, this is probably so cozy to wear. I love this. I love this. I love the colors so much. Periwinkle. Look at me, you know, my colors. I wonder how much I retail for. Let me see. I love Topshop. It retailed for 68. That's not bad. I feel like this would be like a good free people dupe because I feel like free people has something like this, but it probably costs like almost $200 and we're not spending that type of money on free people. Next is 
Papinel. Papinel. I have no idea. This is the tag. I've never seen this tag or heard of this brand, but it's just a pullover knit blouse. It has like stars all over. That's cute. And this is a size extra small. That's cute. I like the little star detail. Wow, this feels really lightweight. Okay, so this is Topshop again. This one is an extra a zero to two made in Italy. Is this like wool? Because this is really, really like, really light. So this is, yep, it's wool, it's wool blend. But this is really cute. I love the colors, the subtle stripe. It has like a subtle poof shoulder, shoulder but y'all, this is literally like the lightest sweater I've ever felt in my life, like a true sweater. Um, so we have another sweater. This is Lulu's and this is a size large. Um, it's like a color block sweater. It does have the different color sleeves. So this is gray and this looks like, honestly to me this looks pink, but like when I move it away from other things, it looks kind of creamish. So I'll have to look at the stock photo, but I don't know. I can't tell if it's like a blush pink or if it's cream. I just can't tell, but luckily they got the style number so we can do that. And it's got a nice long, big old chunky turtleneck. That's cute. She cute. And then the high-low him. Y'all, I'm so confused. Like, it looks cream. But when I look at it, it looks blush pink, too. So, it's probably cream, though. Because blush pink and then, like, this gray color. But this looks, like, brownish. Like, a grayish brownish color. I don't know. Let me, let me move on. Let me move on. Move on, Asia. Move on. Next is... Oh, this is Chaser. Chaser. So I already showed this to y'all. This is small. We have another one of these blouses, one of these pretty big old color blouses. This one is a small as well. We have another one of these. This one is a small. All right, what is this? We have a Tommy Bahama. My Tommy Bahama uh, swim bottoms actually sold for full asking price. I sold them for 35 and they sold um, a few days ago actually. So Tommy Bahama, size small. And wow, I did not see that on the back. So this is a full zip sweater. And then it's got this, um, this pineapple on the back, the sequence pineapple. I know exactly who would like this. Like, let me see what size it is again. I don't think it says her size. Actually, it might be. She been losing. She been losing out of weight. She been doing real good, my girl. But um, yeah, I definitely know who would like that. I'm gonna send her a picture later. Okay, this is this is cute. Oh, 90 degree. So this is 90 degree performance, and this is actually a men's. It's extra large. It's like this camo tie dye type color. I actually have um, some Lululemon line joggers that look just like this this is nice y'all see how i like slid it over to my pal this is the asia needs to try on and maybe keep file so we have another one of these uh these pants this one is a size small i think the other one was extra small but like these are so long oh we have another one of these this one is a size medium we have another cardigan from Top Shop. What are these? This one is a size four to six. I think they all are four to six, right? Or was it two to four? I don't know, but my pal is getting really large. Oh, this one has a sensor too. Yeah, see, so this sensor, my sensor remover can take off easily, but the other one, she ain't coming off with it. Speaking of who would like that pineapple top, she just completed a workout. Okay, um, then we have, what is this? Helly Hansen, size extra small. It looks like it's a, like a, a workout brand. It's just a, uh, it's just a pullover crew neck. I mean, it's just a pullover hooded jacket. This is a size extra small and yeah, logo hoodie made in Turkey. I never heard of this workout brand before, but it just feels like, you know, like Champion has, not Champion, uh, North Face has those plain like sweaters like this with the North Face on it. It, it literally feels just the same. 
literally the same. Okay, ooh, this is cute. This is Adriana Papel. I love this brand, as I mentioned before, this is a medium. And it's got like this lace neck detail here. And then it's also on the bottom here. Like how cute is that? That is so cute. This is a super cute blouse. I love this detail on this blouse. They did a fantastic job with this one. It's a medium, but it looks kind of big. Like, can we squeeze into this or no? We gonna see. We have another one of these pants. This is a size small. Then we have, I believe I showed this already. Let me see the brand. Yes, I did show this. This is Sanctuary. This is that pink tie-dye blouse or top. And it's a large, I think I said, or saw, yes, large. We have, oh, another Heli, is it Heli? Yeah, Heli Hansen sweater. This is a one-off. Yes, she is a one-off. This is Coslin size large, and it's a turtleneck sweater. Might be like a tunic. Yeah, I think it's a tunic. You can wear this with some leggings or like really skinny jeans and some boots. Tuck them bad boys in your boots. This feels really nice. I like the way this feels. I like this color. It's a good size, an extra large. We're just trying to tend to the baby's needs, and then I'll show you guys what it is. So, extra large. Feels great. Love this mustard color. Long sleeves, cross front over here. It's not my style, so I'm not gonna keep it, but I love this color. This is literally like one of my favorite colors for fall. If I could wear this color year round, I probably would. It's so cute. Okay. Wow, this is soft. Oh, PJ Salvage. No wonder why, because they make really soft pajamas. This is a size medium, and it's just lightweight, or it's just like light color leopard print, um, pullover blouse. It's a uh, crew neck. It's so soft. I might need to find me some PJ Salvage in my size. Oh, this is a California brand. I did not know that. We have Aster, and this is a size small. And it's a bodysuit. It has these cutout like details right here. So it probably like cuts out and shows like the top of your cleavage there. This is ribbed, but like semi sheer. It's really cute, actually. Really, really cute. This is soft too. Oh, PJ Salvage. Duh. That's why. This one is a size extra large oh my god do i even want to show y'all it's probably plain yep it's plain but listen here listen here this is going over here Asia, you can't keep everything we have renee c made in usa i love when things are made in the usa um it's a ribbed it's a ribbed shirt basically it does not stay Am I seeing a stain on this? Right here. Maybe it's just shadow. I don't really see anything. So it's a ribbed long sleeve, but it's got this cutout detail here. Like, what is this? Why do brands do this? Like, okay, I can kind of understand it with like dresses or maybe even, yeah, that top there, but with sweaters, like the whole point of a sweater is to keep you warm. And then my legs, you guys, they're like, I have them voted. I have them voted, so I decided to stretch them out because whew, we've been sitting out here for a long time. It might not seem like it when y'all are watching this video, but between these kids going back and forth, a long time. We're almost done though, we're almost done. I actually already showed y'all this before, but I'm gonna show it again. It's Cotton Emporium and it is a sweater, right? With the twist on the back. It's cute. I really do like that. I really do like that. We have um, Ellie. Oh, Ellie Tahari. I've never seen this brand of Ellie Tahari. I know she has, um, that brand has like a couple of like tiers, but it's like this push shoulder blouse. It's really heavy and structured and but like super stretchy hello band-aid 
Why am I saying that? Rubber band. Did I say band-aid earlier in the video? I'm pretty sure I did and I meant rubber band. So rubber band, not band-aid. Um, this is a size large and it's probably fitted, but it's like really nice. This is really nice. It's plain, but a good like career piece. And this retailed for, I thought it said $17. I was like, how, how? It retailed for $68. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is all in favor. So I already showed y'all this a couple of times, but this one's a size large. Well, I guess I didn't show y'all a couple of times. I showed it in the package a couple of times, but I have a bunch of them. And then I did show this in the last video as well. Oh no, a tag came off, BDG. Oh, these are for the, um, these are for the pants. I was looking for this because I remember seeing it. So these are for the pants. So that's good because I was gonna sit new without tags, but the tag's right there, so. Win -win. Um, I did show this to y'all before already, but I'm gonna show it again. This is the last item. So this is BP size medium, and it's a color block. Uh, why am I drawing a blank? It's the last. It's the last item. Oh my god. Okay, it's a color block pullover. I just I know there was a name for it. Oh, Sherpa. There we go. Color block Sherpa, and it's cheetah print, and then it's got like this pink accent detail here. It's really cute. I love it um and that is everything you guys that is everything out of my palette so this was the last part of me unboxing this palette um <laughs> he's just sitting here smiling at me i'm thinking the next palette i buy because i am i am gonna buy another palette i want to do shoes like you guys ready to see a long 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 video of a bunch of shoes not right now we gotta finish getting this stuff listed i also went thrifting like a crazy person don't know why I did that, but I went thrifting. Um, I didn't get much, so it's okay. I could justify that because I didn't get much. Um, and then currently, as it stands, I have only sold, I want to say six items from the palette. Um, and I'm keeping track of, I'll like maybe put like a little screenshot right here, but I'm keeping track of basically how much money is coming in from this palette. So I'm already subtracting the the fees I pay and any shipping like if I get money on because on eBay you get that money but you got to use that money to pay for shipping so I'm subtracting that as well and then I'm kind of keep tracking of like what's actually coming to my account and seeing like how fast I'm making this money back and you know when I get to the break even part and see how much is left so then the rest would be pure profit so I'll put a screenshot right here of what I already have and then but I think it's six items and I haven't had, I don't have everything listed still. It's been about three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Yes, this is the third week. So next week will be the fourth week. I believe everything will be listed at maybe the four and a half week mark because I list 60 items a week. So yes, because um, this is more than 60 items. This is more, this is probably like two weeks worth of inventory. So I don't have everything listed, but we're getting there. We're working on it. I'm very proud of how many items I've been listing a week because I typically have only been doing three to five a day and I upped that to 10 a day and I've been able to maintain that for the past three weeks. Is it challenging? Absolutely, absolutely. But I'm proud of it because it's starting to pay off. eBay is starting to pop. I love it. And I actually have not been putting any energy into Poshmark. Um, I usually will cross list items to Poshmark, but I haven't been cross listing, but things have still been selling on Poshmark. I still have my closet being shared daily and offers being sent. So I guess that's okay, but I definitely need to do more for Poshmark. Um, yeah. So like I said, this was part three and the final part. I hope y'all enjoyed me unboxing all of these items for y'all as you can see tons of repeats um some damages some sensors we got to deal with um they didn't necessarily say that it was going to be like an 100 percent women's palette so i'm not upset about the few men and kids items i got because i think i only got three i'm not gonna lie i only got three and i did have a little mishap at the beginning uh, i was missing about 40 to 45 units but they did come to me a few days after i reached out to my supplier and i was able to get those items and no questions asked because that was good and yeah and trust me i did count every single piece and i suggest y'all do that the same if they if 
the company you're buying from says that you are gonna get 500 pieces you need to count it and it needs to be 500 pieces all i'm saying is if wherever you buy these palettes from they say you are guaranteed to have a certain number of pieces make sure y'all count these pieces like it's time consuming especially if you get like a thousand pieces or something count those pieces because if you're missing it they owe you they owe you those pieces and the sooner you do it the easier it might be now i can't vouch for every company but the easier it might be for y'all to actually get these pieces back now if you wait and you just list from the palette and list and list and list and then you finish listing like three months later and you realize oh my god i only had like 800 pieces well, I don't know how you're gonna be able to get those 200 pieces. They might be like, well, sorry, you should have reached out before. Or they might have, you'd have to prove it, yeah, 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 go through, jump through some hoops. It's, it might not be worth it. So yeah, um, oh, the baby fell asleep. After he done talked through my entire video, now he wants to sleep when I'm done. Don't you love kids? Don't you love kids? All right, but anyways, I'm just rambling on at this point. So thanks for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned. I have a couple more videos in my head that I'm going to be working on and getting those out. And I really hope y'all enjoy these because I'm trying to get my channel back up. And because I definitely miss doing YouTube when I was pregnant. Um, it was just too much at the time. But yeah, I hope y'all, anyways, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.